This will be the final result. All right, let's start with taking a box and giving it a more rectangular shape. Switch the color so it looks a little better. Blend it with the background, give it approximate dimensions. I will be eyeballing it, so let's just do it approximately. Should look fine. A little bigger. Yep. Let's go into the top view and take out a line in order to draw the path that we'll be using. Let's draw a little corner like that and go into its parameters. Select the vertex and let's find the fillet option. Yes. Now this will give us a smooth corner. Well, it's not that smooth, so that is why we need the adaptive interpolation, which we need to find. Here it is. Let's drag it up into more visible spot. Check it. And now we have a smooth corner to avoid any train racks. So shift I spacing tool. Now let's pick our little block and then select the path that we will be using. Okay, now we need to click on follow. Uh, let's turn this one around so it actually follows. Let's activate these snaps, the rotation snaps. And now this looks better. Uh, let's adjust the number of the bricks for the supporting pieces. Uh, this looks kind of okay, but they're kind of too spaced out. Let's add the numbers. So this kind of looks fine. Okay, let's apply. Click on close. And these are the supporting structures that the rail tracks go on top of. Now, now we need the tracks themselves. We'll be using this uh, initial line that we drew and now let's uh, make it show up in render give it a sort of a body so it's an object rectangular give it dimensions make it wider kind of looks okay should look fine now Let's use the edit poly modifier in order to extract the edges because these will be the rail pieces. Uh, pressing two, marking the edges from both sides because we need two pieces of those and click on loop. Uh, right click, uh, create shape, uh, linear, okay. Now, we do not need the initial object anymore, the blue one, so we can delete that. Let's click on delete. And now we have these two pieces that we don't really need the rendering for anymore. Instead, now that we have the two pieces, we will uh, find the modifier sweep so we can sweep those tracks. Go into the modifier tab. Okay, and there are some pre-defined uh, pre, uh, shapes that we'll be choosing this one more or less looks like a rail track so uh, we're gonna move it so it looks as if it's on the tracks themselves let's adjust a little for parameters otherwise it looks kind of too thin not enough to support a heavy train this looks better so approximately place it on top of them and uh, looks much better. Okay, we can close the move window and this is almost ready. Now they are hanging um, in the air, so let's give it a little plane under it. 
Let's use the initial line that we drew. A rectangular shape, give it width. Kind of looks narrow. Let's make it bigger. All right, this looks fine. Let's give it some color. More appropriate for the railroad. Now it all kind of blends in together. Let's make the ground a little darker to separate the items, objects from each other. That's better. Okay, here we are. It's uh, ready. This is basically it. It's like, would be good for a background use or something where it doesn't really require details. So here it is, the uh, curved railroad piece. Thank you for watching.